Fellow citizens and residents, good day. On the 14th June 2020, the nation was apprised that I am the new Minister of Education, Youth, Sport and Culture. In this capacity, I have begun the Leviathan task of becoming acquainted with the tremendous amount of work in progress in all of my ministries, particularly within the Ministry of Education. It is with great privilege and sincere humility that I address you as the new Minister of Education in the government of St. Kitts and Nevis. Minister Richards, my predecessor, would have been involved in continually updating you on matters in education and it is my intention to keep this good tradition going. Also, let me confirm my commitment to ensuring the fulfillment of the mission of the Ministry of Education to provide all citizens and residents in collaboration with our stakeholders a comprehensive course of quality lifelong education which would enable individuals to develop and achieve their full potential, allowing them to make meaningful contribution to national development. Today, in this my first address as a Minister of Education, and in keeping with the mission of the Ministry of Education, I will speak to the following. One, the end of teaching in the 2019 to 2020 academic year. Two, the proposed academic calendar for 2020-2021. Three, summer training for teachers. And four, the phased reopening of the education sector from early childhood onward. Recognizing that many of our teachers and students have been engaging in online instruction since the physical closure of our schools, the Ministry of Education has made a decision that the provision of instructions will end on 10th July 2020 as was scheduled on the academic calendar. This means that there is no extension of the academic school year. As such, public school students in St. Kitts and Nevis will commence their summer break after 10th July 2020. Where there are school matters to complete, teachers are required to avail themselves for the completion of all duties. Students who are scheduled to write overseas CXC examinations from 13th July 2020 would be expected to report to their school's examination centers very early for each examination. In light of the new protocols for accessing the examination spaces at schools, students registered for exams and are encouraged to get to their schools at least one hour in advance of every examination time. As we look towards the next academic year, the Ministry is staunchly committed to a course of action which will increase teacher-student contact time and minimize loss of learning. Therefore, the proposed 2020-2021 school year will commence on 7th September 2020. The first term is proposed to end on 11th December 2020. It is the intention of the Ministry of Education for student-teacher engagement to be maximized during this period. Thus, the processes of teaching, learning, and assessment are expected to be accentuated until 4th December 2020. The days of 7th to 11th December 2020 are designated for grading and record keeping. This allows teachers a period for uninterrupted marking and updating of records. Parents and guardians can therefore begin to collect reports for Term 1 from 14th December 2020. Critical to the delivery of quality education and increased student academic engagement during the new school year is the uptooling of teachers to ensure greater comfort and competence in delivering instruction, especially via online modality. 
This we are planning to do during the annual summer training for teachers, which usually takes place in the month of August. It is important to note that this year, the modality and the timeline for summer training of teachers will undergo the necessary restructuring. At this time, the Ministry of Education is planning on a series of online training sessions for teachers during the last two weeks of August. In keeping with previous years, all teachers in the system are required to participate. Having determined that the school year starts on 7 September 2020, the Ministry of Education will take a phased approach to the re physical reopening of learning institutions. The phased approach to the return of students is necessary in order to ensure that schools can effectively implement and sustain the health, hygiene and safety protocols and where possible establish and maintain reasonable measures for physical distance in keeping with the school context. The efforts in this regard are informed by the recommendations outlined in documents from UNICEF, UNESCO and CAFA regarding the reopening of educational institutions. Additionally, the Ministry of Education continues to work closely with the National COVID-19 Task Force. We are currently working together to address the needs of the early childhood sector and to explore the phased reopening of this very critical sector. As a nation, we are moving towards effectively living and working with the threat of COVID-19. And as more and more of our citizens transition back to the workforce, the care and welfare of our youngest citizens will remain of utmost priority. Thus, the Ministry of Education, through its Early Childhood Development Unit, and in conjunction with the National Task Force for COVID-19, will begin the process of a phased approach to reopening the early childhood sector on a case-by-case -case basis. Proprietors and supervisors of nurseries and preschools are asked to contact the Early Childhood Development Unit at 466-2810 for guidance on the application process to commence the review of your facilities in light of the COVID-19 safety requirements. Once the early childhood facility has been determined to be compliant with the new safety and health protocols of the early childhood sector, then that nursery or center will be able to secure approval for reopening. As we draw towards the end of the 2019-2020 school year on the 10th of July 2020, I encourage all education personnel to make the most of the upcoming summer break. I hope that this summer period will provide a time for rest and rejuvenation for our teachers and our school administrators. Take time to care holistically for yourself, ensuring that you are rested in mind, body and spirit. Similarly, as children advance on their summer break, I implore all parents to ensure that your children are safe engage in a series of healthy, fun, and enriching activities, and adequately rested for the start of the next school year. It is our hope that parents and children alike will be ready for the start of the 2020-2021 academic year. In closing, as we continue to chart the way forward for education during the unprecedented time of COVID-19, you can expect over the next few weeks that you will hear from me periodically to provide you, our stakeholders, with updates on critical matters in education. In the Ministry of Education, we are concretizing plans with the best interests of our students, teachers, school administrators and other school personnel upmost in our consciousness. We look forward to the next academic year when teachers and students can engage in greater and more effective teaching and learning within the new paradigm 
ushered in by COVID-19. Thank you very much for your attention and may God continue to bless us as a nation.